Now I'm always trying to come up with ways that I can use those Dollar Tree miniature trees. They're so cute. I had this fishbowl that I thrifted and I'm gonna be using some Epsom salt. This is a great item to use to mimic the look of snow. And I'm gonna take some of those green trees that I have and place them in this bowl. Now you could have several of these sitting out on your dining room table and it would be really inexpensive or you could just do one on a shelf or a table. I think it looks really high end. And when you're done putting all the trees in, add a little bit more Epsom salt on the top and it's gonna mimic the look of snow. This tray is actually an easy tray to find. I'm painting it with kind of a khaki beige color. Next, I'll bring out that detail around the edges with some Waverly white chalk paint. Next, I'm gonna use some beads that I had on hand and wrap them around some wire. I'm gonna hot glue and tape that to the underside of this tray. And I'll repeat that on the other side. Because you use the wire, you can really move these around. This tray would be great as a centerpiece. You could add candles to it or really anything that fits with your decor. My kids love doing a Christmas countdown. So I'm gonna show you how to make a Christmas countdown sign. So you're going to need a Dollar Tree sign, really any of them will work. You're also going to need a plaque and then I grab some magnetic clips. I'm gonna start with wood filler, just filling in the holes that were from where they had the string before. I'm gonna paint the whole piece with silver lining. Next, I'm going to paint the plaque white I'm gonna add some Dollar Tree numbers, cut those out so that my kids can use those to represent how many days we have until Christmas. On my Cricut, I'm just going to cut out days until Christmas and add that to the white plaque. And I'm gonna add black to the edges. I'm also going to add black to the edges of my sign. I'm gonna kind of lay everything out on this tray to see, you know, like where the best thing to put everything is. I also want to add a ribbon. I'm gonna add that down at the bottom. Next, I'm just gonna come in and hot glue all the components down. And I'm just gonna keep the numbers sitting out next to my sign. You could put command strips on your wall and add this to your wall, or you could have it sitting out for your kids to use. Let me show you how I like to display some of the Dollar Tree florals. So I would pick maybe about five stems and this glass container you could easily find at Dollar Tree, well, most of the time. I'm also going to grab some of their miniature ornaments. Because they're so small, they just really help to kind of fill in with larger items. So I'm gonna mix and match, putting in some red first, then silver, then I'll put in all of my stems. From there, I'm going to kind of push the ornaments down to the side so that you can't see my stems anymore. This is an easy way to display your Dollar Tree Christmas florals. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider doing so. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays, and you'll just get notified anytime a new video comes out. So I had this print in my stash. It was actually from the Target dollar spot and I thought it was the perfect size to make a little sign. So I printed out this printable that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I'm just going to trace around the edge so that I can glue it into my sign. I'll cut the sign out. I'm also going to add another piece of white cardstock so that the sign doesn't show through. And here's a look at how the sign turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.